Okay, so I finished Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I rated it four stars. It was very, very good. Really enjoyed it. Can't wait to move on to Crown of Midnight because that book was just incredible. But because this is the reading rush and I want to stick to my TBR, I am going with The Running Man by Stephen King. <laughs> Hi guys, it's day three, so it is the 22nd of July, and I just realised that I haven't been doing the mini challenges that we're supposed to do in our videos, so that's a lot of fun. One of the challenges is to make a cup of tea or coffee, and I have some cinnamon tea right here. Actually, in my first vlog for day one and day two, that's hot. For day one and two, I had a cup of coffee and tea, and I just didn't film it or talk about it. So there's that. Another challenge is to match an outfit to a book, and the last challenge is... Where's the last challenge? I'll pop it on the screen right here. That's, that's the... That's the last challenge. So I will be trying to do those in today's vlog. I think this is just going to be day three rather than day three and four, like the first vlog was one and two. I think this is just going to be day three. Yeah, last night I finished Throne of Glass and I started reading The Running Man by Stephen King. I am currently on page 50 and that means I'm quarter of the way through and it's really, really good. I was not expecting to like this because this is a very not talked about book. I was kind of hesitant to read this. But it's actually really, really good. I'm really enjoying it so far. So I actually have a great idea for my outfit matching. Because I actually bought a shirt because it looked like a book cover that I have. And I just never wore the shirt. So I will show you that in a moment. Hello. So you can just see my forehead and my eyes right now. Hello, hello. Uh, because I have just put on a shirt that is... I identical, like, colour-wise, to a cover of a book I have. So let's see if you can guess the book first, just by looking at the shirt. Wow! Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asiman. The movie tie-in of this book has a virtually identical colour scheme to this top, and I bought it during Boopy Hole's readathon because it looked like this cover. So this is kind of perfect, and it just suits it really, really well. I'd never wear this shirt, like, it's just not my style, but it's pretty cool because it matches this cover. Well, it's a really nice day outside, so I think I should probably get some reading done and read The Running Man outside. This is not the book that I chose for the one I want to read outside, that's Holes, but I am going to go outside to read because, along with my wonderful bed, that is my favourite place to read, so I'm gonna go there. see something really weird this book is a used copy and i found i've booked, i've bookmarked it i have found a piece of the page that was dog-eared and i was like because i hate dog ears so i went to fold it down which i did and then what the hell this page just has extra paper on it I have never seen that on a book before. That's really confusing me. So I guess that's why it was dogged. Have you ever seen that before? Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen a page with sticking out paper like that. So weird. I'm disappointed, guys. I'm disappointed. I've just finished The Running Man by Stephen King. This started out great. Ended up being like a three-star read. I was really hoping from the first 50 pages, which I loved, that the rest of the novel would be even better. But no, the one thing that I will give this book is I loved the build-up of intensity. That was something I really, really enjoyed about this book, but everything else was just a bit poop. And I'm not massively satisfied. So that's a three-star read, but it's my third book and it's checked off. Now, I am about to tackle the biggest book that is on my TBR. This book is 520 pages and is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. This is a thick book to read 
in a readathon, but I'm giving myself today and tomorrow to read this book, so I should be able to do it. I mean, you guys, I read the Hunger Games trilogy in one day. Surely I can read a 500 page book in like less time than that. So I'm just gonna get cracking with this. So before I get on with Insurgent, I am going to tell you a bookish story as one of my mini challenges for this vlog. So this bookish story is less of a story and more of just what happened to me. So I was reading Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, the third and final book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. It is heart-wrenching. It's so... I'm gonna cry just thinking about it. But that book was an emotional roller coaster. I'm not going to get into spoiler territory, but I'll give you the gist. So something happened in Clockwork Princess, I won't say what, that just broke me absolutely shattered me and I was not happy about it let out all my feels cried and then it was just like psych this didn't actually happen and I was like oh so I just reacted for like 10 minutes just like crying at something that happened in the book and then they're like lol no this didn't really happen we've got a resolution and I was like I've just wasted my time crying over this book for 10 minutes when it's semi-solved like that was very infuriating. Okay, so that was my tiny bookish story. So now I'm just going to get on with Insurgent because I need to crack on. Okay, so it is about quarter to 10 in the evening and I am on page 162 of Divergent. So I am going to go to sleep now and get an early night, well, kind of, not really an early night, but kind of, and just binge read tomorrow. Hopefully I can finish Insurgent. Did I call it Divergent? I can't remember. Um, But yeah, I will finish Insurgent tomorrow. Thank you for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment below some video suggestions you'd like to see next on this channel, subscribe to my channel for more bookish videos, and turn on post notifications by ringing that bell. If you want to be notified every single time I upload a new video, my Goodreads link is in the description below, as is my Instagram. Hope you've had a great day. Hope tomorrow is even better, and I will see you for another video. Bye. <laughs>